Yo yo, what is going on guys? <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new video here on the JTCG YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for all the support. We're on our way to 200,000 subscribers. Make sure you guys drop a thick and plump like because we're doing an OG aircraft car carrier reaction video. This is on, I believe, CVN 77. It's the, the George H.W. Bush. It's the last Nimitz class carrier that was ever built because now they're all fourth class carriers. I spent all my time on Nimitz class carriers. I was on CVN 72 and CVN 73. I spent almost two years total living out to sea on the aircraft carrier, part of my helicopter squadron. So I love, I know Nimitz class carriers like the back of my freaking hand. Pretty much the layout is all the same on every Nimitz class carrier. Just a little things are different here and there. Let's get it, my boy Papa. Nice, dudes. So we're literally, we're walking right now and on the mess decks. <laughs> people's faces are so funny, dude, if you watch people's faces, because no one's used to just like a big camera walking around. Uh, yeah, this is, this is it. This is carrier life, dude. After, when you walk down these P-ways, it's like a different society. Getting out of this sick society. Society. <laughs> society. Society, man. Society. 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 You know, society. You come across different groups of people, dude. Yeah, right. Like this guy, Salty, right here on the left. Look at that guy's like, what the hell? What you say? Oh, that you only meant well. And it's interesting, this tile, you see that the blue tile? Normally, if you're on the O3 level, you can't walk on blue tile. That's for officers only in E7 and above. But on the galley, on the mess decks right here, you can walk on it. It's all blue. It's fine. You can walk on it. There we go. Sweepers, sweepers, man your brooms. That's what you'll be doing. E3s and below, sweeping it up, cleaning the floors. Still walking around on the mess decks. You can see, uh, yep, there's the kitchen in there. That's where people do the dishes and shit. I don't know what that big red door is. But yeah, you can see just the mess decks, a bunch of tables. There's the forward galley and there's the aft galley. So you can walk forward and aft through the mess decks. Dude, there's the good old end dubs, man. People have their covers. People have their covers with them and some are wearing covers, so they must be pulled into port. They must be a uh, pier side. You don't wear covers when you're out to sea. But again, this is a classic, classic P where you guys can see the size of these things. On the side, all those doors are just different work centers, different shops, different jobs, different rates. Um, but yeah, everyone, you can see everyone's transiting as well on the right side. Everyone transits on the starboard side of the P way. It's just like, a, you know, keep the flow of traffic going. S still on the mess decks though. The mess decks are, it's, you know, you can walk all the way forward or aft. Here's another guy cleaning stations, man. <laughs> Look at him with the broom. That's what you do. You sweep the same floor every single day. You sweep, even if it's, even if it's not dirty, you're there with their broom. Yeah, they're definitely, uh, pier side. You don't wear covers unless you're, um, you don't wear covers in the hangar bay unless you're docked. Classic dude moving pallets around. I don't know if this is on load or off load if they're getting ready for deployment or if they're It's probably on load They're getting all the ship ready One uh, big tip recommendation do not get your forklift qualification Do not get your forklift while it'll make your life miserable because you'll be working a million hours dude moving pallets and boxes around for on load and off load do not get your forklift wall. Yeah, there we go, man. That's the, that's the island. The big thing that sticks out of the aircraft carrier off the black deck, the island. Get the nice eagles, the birds. That's another thing. When, when you're out to sea and you see the first bird, you know you're getting close to land. It makes you see. Yeah, we got the bridge, how you walk on and off the ship. You're supposed to salute. Uh, look aft, salute the, the flag that they have on the fantail when you get on and off the brow. Oh man, they're, they're headed out to sea. There they go. Got all the family members. That's one of the best feelings, honestly, when you get back from deployment. All the families there waving the flags. They have signs. Everyone's cheering, celebrating. People say, JT, what was like one of the best feelings you had in the Navy? Getting back from deployment and pulling into port. 
and like seeing everyone cheering. It's a great feeling, man. But uh, yeah, dude. A lot of times too, when you pull back into port, if you pull into certain ports, they make you stand. Everyone stand uh, on the flight deck in a certain dress uniform. Um, I never did that though. I never did that. Number one, I ain't trying to wear my dress uniform and be up on the flight deck for hours and hours standing there. Number two, I'm trying to get off the ship ASAP. That's crazy, those little tugboats, how strong they are, dude. They need help though, the carrier needs help. It's so big. It's so big, they need assistance. That's the Horn of Gondor. The Horn of Gondor. That's loud as hell though. Oh, there's everyone, dude, in the hangar bay. Everyone's looking. We got people in the hangar bay. Oh, we got people. I don't know what that's called. That's like where the boatswain's mates and shit go. Those guys are like, hell yeah. We ain't gotta go out to sea. We're shore duty, bitch. Bye. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a boatswain. Those are boatswain's mates right there on the right. Or maybe MAs or... I don't know what job that would be. Yeah, dude. There's not... A, there's a, It's a pretty sh shitty feeling going out to sea after you pulled into a port not necessarily that situation um but if you've like been partying for four days five days straight in these different countries like thailand hong kong wherever and then you go back out to sea that first day is the worst <laughs> not only are you hung over but you have to work like 14 hours that first day you got to get all the aircraft ready you got to get uh no bueno man all right that's it dude that was uh interesting interesting video Interesting footage of, you know, the camera walking around the mess decks. It's funny to see, though, because you can tell people, like, click up, right? There's, like, different groups as the camera passes. Different rates together, different groups, different personalities. Um, you can just tell, like, the DC men, apart from the MAs, from the engineering rates, from the CSs. Um, everyone kind of has their own, you know, way that they carry themselves around the ship. But, yeah, dude, some great footage, dude. Yo, thank you guys so much, though, for watching the video. If you made it to the very end, make sure you drop that thick and plump like. We're trying to get back on the grind with, uh, you know, like I said, October was a pretty slow month for me for uploading videos. But hopefully in November, we can get back on there, back on the grind. If you haven't seen my video that I uploaded yesterday, giving you guys a little update about um, just where I'm at myself personally. Check out that video I uploaded yesterday. And, you know, we got to end it with my boy, Papa. and jtcs.com, veteran day, veterans day, sale stuff coming out. There he is, he wants to come out from the dungeon. Why are you in the dungeon? Sit, ready, papa, papa, <gasps> papa. You sit right now, you sit right now. Hey, serious, <gasps> you are not being a good boy listener. Hey, Gray, tell your brother to sit. This is unacceptable behavior. Serious. Hey, sit down. Stay. You know better. You know to be a good boy only. A good boy? Yes, good job, Siri. Gray, you did a good, good too, Mama. Okay, Mama, we're gonna go outside.